Hello everyone and welcome back Welcome back to my channel and my playthrough of Fallout New Vegas. Who are those people? Well, we'll go see them in a minute. Um, I have done absolutely nothing <laughs> since uh, we were last together. But uh, I gotta watch the time again. My computer is going to run out of space in about two hours or two and a half hours. My see, uh, probably about three hours is what I can do in all actuality. So we'll set that for two hours and then I'll know. Disengage lock, please. Thank you. Veronica. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? No, I, I'm taking that power helmet for a few minutes. Uh, not much better with the hood, but actually better. <laughs> At least I can see your face in here without it sounding like she's in a tin can. Stranger, you better have a good reason for barging in like this. Who are you, and why are you here? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, Steve sent me. Uh, he needs information about this tape. Steve? Okay, well, that explains how you got my password. But what's this about a tape? It was what Lori's plans for building the rebuilding the Bison hmm. Steve. Let's see that. Yes, that's it. It's got to be. What's got to be? Okay, I know it's my uncle's. See these initials etched into it right here? That BB is Buck Brunson. But I don't recognize this NS right here. Wait, it's got to be Nevada Slim. He and my uncle were old poker buddies. Okay. They even started the new Mojave Poker series together with Stewie and Pearson. Who and who? They had a bit of a falling out, I'm afraid. Buck bluffed him off a real big hand one night. Thousands of caps at stake. Buck was a little drunk and he showed Slim his cards just for spite. That made Slim real mad. Yeah, you're not supposed to do that, I think. Whether he outplayed it or not, he was still a poor sport of a Yeah, he did. But Slim don't like to be bluffed like that. Said Buck was making fun of him. He was. Of course Buck wasn't. Yes, he was. But it didn't matter to Slim. Slim said their friendship was over. Swore he'd get his money back somehow and stormed out. I don't think they've spoken since. Buck headed out for New Reno a day or so later. It's a shame, because they had been through a lot together, and were old, old friends. Okay. Do you know where this Nevada Slim might be? He's probably drunk, gambling, or most likely both. He always said he liked Gamora. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. Thanks, dude. Okay, next time I'm near Gamora. Now let's... Who are you people? James? Uh. Jane? Robert? Betty? Billy? Okay, let's give you back your helmet. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? No, no, just giving you back your helmet. Don't know what's about to what happen. Is? What do you mean, what is it? Who are you? What are you doing out here with a gun loaded with what appears to be your whole family? James Anderson. Most call me Jimmy. This is my wife, Jane, and children, Robert, Betty, and Billy. Robert, Bob, Betty, and Billy. <sighs> okay. What are you doing out here? Uh, trying to weigh out those filthy hoes squatting on my property. Dirty bums don't give a damn about my deed, and the NCR won't send any law to force them out. Well, yeah, it's it's an abandoned building. It was an abandoned property. An NCR inspector found it uninhabited, so they put it up for sale as part of the Homestead Initiative. My farm near Reading was about to go to the Brahmin Barons, so I put everything I had into this lot. Figured I could start a trading post. Okay. I bring my entire family and everything we have, only to find this place occupied by hobos. That Ronnie guy is their leader, and he won't budge. I'm getting desperate here, stranger. I might have to take matters into my own hands. 
Oh, you'll get your family killed. That, I'll, I'll do something about this. If you say so. The honcho is a loose cannon. Real twitchy. I think they're on dope. Mushrooms. Something weird. Freaks, all of them. You get rid of them without any killing, and I'll throw in some caps for you. Thanks for doing this, stranger. Okay. Without killing would be good, but let's uh, not uh, be I foolish about saw. this. Look, you dumb sidebuster. I won't say it again. Wait, who the fuck are you? Okay, language. All right. You don't greet someone you've never met before like that. He might shoot you in the face. I'm actually, I don't know, Mr. Anderson has raised to this property. You're going to have to leave. Shut up, pack your shit, and lead your band of bums out of here right now. I'm here to eat muffins and kill hobos. No, no, no. What? We've been on the road for weeks. Just trying to survive. We are day to day out here, stranger. We got sick people and a pregnant woman. You want us to uproot and go back out in the wastes? You could have wiped my ass with that deed. Uh, no, I don't think that would be a good idea. All right, here, I'll give you 500 caps. Go somewhere else. For that, we can find another spot. You're all right, stranger. Take care of yourself. Ron, he's been waste money quickly. Yes, it's bad for parts unknown. The property is now accessible. I just paid him 500 caps. You said you would pay me. Hot damn! Quick get started on renovating the place right away. Thanks so much for your house, stranger. I hope you check back in later. Oh, I probably will. At some point, I'll remember to. Okay. Um. I'm going this way. Okay. Realize you're likely to be murdered or your kids are. You're way too far outside of You gotta get inside the walls, dude. I'm not a big one on walls and stuff. Like, you know, as I said, the, uh, the NCR prison whatever it's called that's just a oh, well apartments okay that's just a disaster waiting to happen that is because there are walls yes but there's a big army that's probably going to come and get you Am I supposed to do something here? Wow. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay, you don't seem worried. You two don't seem worried. Oh, okay. Hi! Hi! What's a super moon like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> <laughs> I lost my bone with shipping. I got Bobo. Feet Goodbye. Okay. Yeah, I can understand that. That's... What the... There's something I'm supposed to do here. Data. Quests. Travel to West Side and speak with St. James about the missing refugees. Hello. Why are you talking to me, man? I'm trying to relax here. Got it? 
Some people have gone missing. They were last seen dealing with you and your friend. I don't know a thing about no missing refugees from that Aerotech camp. Go cry to somebody else. I didn't mention Aerotech. Yeah, well, I must have heard rumors. Uh, fuck you, you got nothing on me in Dermot. Okay, I'm going to read. I thought this is where you're going. Yeah. Yes, I'm going to read. Hello. Welcome to Casa Madrid. Cheapest, cleanest horse in all New Vegas. If you want to know the rate for Poon, talk to the horse. So this is yours? Yep, for years now. Guess, Guess I should call him Casa de Marco or something. But I haven't changed the signs. <laughs> <laughs> Folks who can't pay their way onto the strip need a place to stay too. And when pretty Sarah set her horse up here, the Casa went full service. Okay. So who's this like pretty who? Sarah person? Know anything about St. James? Casa's unstable. But he pays his rent and Sweetie seems to like him alright. Okay. I guess that's all I've got Catch to ask you for. Happened to you? Welcome, Welcome to the Casa Madrid. Madrid. Oh my if goodness! If you got an itch scratching, you came to the right place. Just watch, watch how you treat the merchandise. Are those burns? Is that a burn scar? That's what it looks like. Uh, what do you do around here? I look here? after the only reasons anyone would want to spend any time here. I'm a pimp. All Marker does is collect rent and take a small cut of my action. He sure as hell doesn't clean the rooms. Okay. You're not one of the merchandise, then, I take it. Most of my body is scarred all over, like a ghoul. Nobody around would want to screw that. No, I just run things. Are you sure about that? The, how did you get so badly burned? We don't talk about that. Next topic. Okay, goodbye. I'll be back. You knew where to find me. Yeah, well, I... Yeah. What the freak? Marco! Hey, what is it? Um, questions like about your tenants. Uh, tell me about Pretty Sarah. Ain't so pretty, is she? Not since she had a run in with those fiends over there in Karen. This fiend named Cook Cook, on account of the flamethrower he wears, he had his way with Sarah. Every way it can be done. Then he starts frying her up for kicks. I guess that's how his signs work. Catch you later then. Oh, no wonder. Um, Willow. Yeah, there's no sense. Um. What's up? Sure. A present? <gasps> what, what is it? Is it? Giant pen, oh yeah. That's amazing! <laughs> Thank you so much! No problem. But that's okay. Bye. Alright, see you later. You just be right there. Okay, we got some more points with Willow. There's a big shot. need this. I'll take that too since I'm right here. Okay, you. You, you can just talk to the horse now. You and me, we don't need to talk unless there's trouble. trouble. Uh, you might, yeah. I killed the fiend named Cook Cook. Uh, he's dead. You don't need to worry about him ever again. I didn't torture him or anything. I just shot him, but he's dead. You did? Yes. Well, that's one hell of a service to humanity then. Well, thank you. I guess I was thought maybe I'd be the one to do it. Wasn't the reaction. I got some Betsy. Never got my nerve up. Maybe I'll sleep good tonight. 
Here, Here take, take this. this. It's, it's how, how I say, say thanks. Okay. Now, who's this merchandise? Who, who are your 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 uh, prostitutes? Three flavors to choose from: Sweeney, Maude, and Jimmy. Uh -huh. Sweeney's a house favorite for reasons that should be obvious. Those Maude is what you might call the discount okay. rack. She's what a customer wears if he doesn't have the caps to afford Sweeney, or just like the mold. Okay. Jimmy's more of a specialist. I only hear good things. Okay. Thank you. You know where to find me. I do. I hope you do sleep well tonight. I truly do. You're the second person I've met who's been raped by that. Okay, so they're up here. Um, piece of crap. Um... I don't have the wig, but that's okay. You are mod. No, you weren't the one. He said, "Say, James, uh, sweetie." I think we the guy. Sir. You're Jimmy. You must be sweetie. Hey, baby. Let's say you and me get acquainted. Let's say we don't. Uh, let's, well, yeah, okay, tell me about yourself. I'm all sweet because I'm the sweetest piece you'll ever find anywhere outside of the strip. Oh, to hear someone talk about themselves like that, oh. Uh. That's true, wouldn't you make more money on the strip? The clientele is definitely richer. I got my start at the Mora. Good money, but I saw how those mirrors put girls on free jet or mess. Then start charging. Uh, uh, needles, what that is. I less out here, but I keep more. Good enough for ya. Okay, so do you you know this Saint James? I heard he that he you were one of his favorites. Sure do. And that you liked him. Number one customer. Okay. Prospect who pays Marco to stay here at the casa week to week. I don't know why his friend Dermot chose to stay here. He's never been with me or nobody else. But Saint James likes having me close to hand. Okay. Um. Does he talk? Does he? You know, when he pays, does does, does is there any pillow talk? Oh, this is so freaking personal. But I really need to know because if those things, those, those 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 things, I think he may have done, he did. Then he doesn't deserve privacy. A client's got a right to privacy, so it'll cost 200 cash for me to tell you all about it. Mm. Yeah. Funny how we make cash every time I open my mouth. Oh. St. James's problems, that's for oh, sure. Never wants really? to say a thing or for me to move around either. Lately, he brings a teddy bear with him and hops on the bed like he's watching us. It's creepy as hell. Not the worst I've ever been with. But more perfect than most. Okay. Think you could get me in there? I do have a spare key, but I'm not sure if he'd like it if I let you in there. Oh, I have a Saint funny James feeling he's not going to care much because, uh, yeah. I'll pay for it. Come deal. My, My price is firm, though. St. James is a good customer, and it better be worth it if I'm going to lose him. Fair enough. And here's your key. All right. Goodbye. You know you'll be back. I don't think I will. I could be wrong about that, but I really don't think so. No, Marco certainly does not clean the rooms. Ooh. Can I use you? No, that sucks. Let's not pick locks. We already stole a couple of magazines here. One of which because we really, 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 really wanted it. The other because, well, it was there. Did I just go by the uh, the stairwell? 
I think I did. Yes, I did. All right. So she gave me the key. Whose room is this? Dermot's. Okay. St. James. There it is. Oh, I forgot to put my headphones on. Dermot's ledger. Okay. Search so rooms, rooms, you mean to tell Captain Parker what happened? I'm so confront. I'm just. I'm just <laughs> uh, yeah. Just a second. We'll decide what we're doing here once we uh, look at his ledger. Going to be a little different than the one I kept for hauling scrap, haha. -ha. But I've always been a strong believer in keeping straight books. To motor on our teen girl five. Don't, never mind. That's all I need. There's so many people. You're selling people. We gotta go through this again. Look what I found what in you your room, you egg. That ain't even mine. I mean, it's mine. It's private. Give it back. Hell, don't give it back. Hell, don't don't give it back. back. I, don't I don't care. Just, just found it when we was working salvage and thought I'd save it to give it to some kid when it came by. You're a bad liar. You go through this again? Yes, yes, we do. Ah, uh, look at this. You got his book. Dirk, this bastard got your book. You got your book. No, that wasn't really optional. I'm sorry to tell you. It wasn't optional at all. Those two needed to die. Well, you're not going to be happy with me, are you? I. Thanks, Thanks a lot. I'm Al Dermot and St. James Dermot. And they, they pay, pay regular. And, and once they, they get to stink, I'll have to clean, clean up the mess, mess too. Catch, Catch you later, later, then. No sympathy for you, dude. <laughs> and sure I don't think you have to clean up the mess. Yes, they are. You've done a lot to take care of fiend problems, but. All right. I don't think there's anything else I needed to do in West Side, at least not for now. I don't really need to meet the people right now. Okay. Alpha. Copper's farm. Gun runners. My truck. Let's go dump a bunch of stuff. Didn't mean, didn't think I'd be picking up that much stuff to tell you the truth. Didn't have to expect to have to fight fiends and fiends and jackals and vipers and whatever the freak else it was I ended up fighting.
Who is the uh, Paul's gun? Yeah, let's not get rid of that, please. Excuse me. Okay. Oh, for <sighs> How can one man be so stupid? <sighs> Jesus Christ almighty. My truck, Buck's Place, Oakwell Apartments. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can we drive there? That might be very convenient. Uh, no. West Side Pawn Shop. Yes, we can. Nice. Should have done that last night before I went to bed. And you would have wouldn't have wasted that ten minutes of game time. 10 minutes that is not real time 10 minutes of uh, getting out of the truck and getting back in and yeah ooh. okay how in the never mind don't ask it's a physical impossibility that's fine I've got a magic truck must be playing Skyrim. Now. Uh huh. It's over. What's that? <laughs> Don't get distracted. I think it's. Maybe up there. Hate these things. It can be done, it just takes a lot of patience. And a lot of time. Uh, 
but it's not. Yeah? Yeah? Come on! Stupid freaking Cazadors. Hate the things. Even if I were doing a no vats run, I wouldn't do it for the cast doors. They're just sometimes they're just too freaking hard to hit. It's ridiculous. Right over that little hill, probably. Oh, excuse me, please. Oh, itchy nose. It is, it's another freaking Cazador. No, no damn it, just a shot to the face. Look anyway. Empty. Okay, I forgot to do a couple of things before I started this. I forgot to turn off the, uh, to put it on my headphones, and I forgot to put it on a fake full screen. Sad. Once we get up to this thing. Right, yeah, there's the the greenness I saw. The grass kills, does it? This is one where we'll let the uh, the companions take care of things. It's too hard to see them in there. There they go. Trouble. Yep.
Oh, Veronica. Didn't anyone ever tell you it's not a good idea to step in front of some blah 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 Step in front of someone who has a loaded weapon. You're brotherhood trained, aren't you? I know you're a scribe, but still. I don't think they'd let people just, you know, go out without any kind of physical training. And that guy Harden did ask if you were keeping up with your training regimen. Digest. I not take that yet. Vault 22 Interlab Network Main Entrance Security Station. System integrity compromised. Warning. Uh, unauthorized login. Blah, blah, blah. Vault Expedition. Vault 22 Expedition Entry 1. I've established a temporary camp inside the entrance of the vault. Power inside is minimal but still running, and I've managed to hack into one of their security terminals. The logs show that several people have entered the vault over the past few months, but none have left. It's getting late, so I'll resume the expedition in the morning. Keely out. Okay. Let's read the second one. The growth in the interior matches the exterior to a T. So there's going to be more of those little green things. <gasps> well, not, they're not that little. They're big enough, but they're still bugs. It's a little surprising given the scarcity of sunlight in the entrance room, but even more surprising is that they seem to originate from further below. Maybe that fool Mill Hildern was onto something after all. Ooh. Definitely doesn't like him. Since my pit boy is on the fritz, I'll try to keep a running log of my discoveries in whatever computers I can find and collate the data before leaving. Okay, so she has a pit boy. All right, just a second, everyone, because uh, yeah. The jack is what I'm looking for, or the USB, I guess it's called. There it is. Just took a little, a few seconds there to find the uh, socket. All right, and. Now we need to open you again, please. Okay. Okay. Now, just to make sure. All right, everybody, I'm going to stop this and I'm going to check and make sure that everything took correctly and I shall return. I don't know if it's going to keep recording. I don't know what happened. Anyway, I'll be back. Maybe. <laughs> uh, no, that's okay. Huh? Thank you. Uh, I'll be back.